my name is H.A. Pruitt. I'm the author of Anathalian and the second book in the Anathalian series, Earthquaking. And in this video, I am going to do a book review, not of Anathalian, of another book. Um, and before I do the review, I want to say reviewing books is so important. So if you read a book, please, please, please leave a review on Amazon, on Goodreads, wherever you buy the book, wherever you're on social media, leave a review and tell other people why they should read the book. So the book I'm going to review today is Robbing Centaurs and Other Bad, and Other Bad Ideas by Bethany Meyer. And I, I gotta get my notebook to do my review. Hold on. So, Robbing Centaurs and Other Bad Ideas is a fantasy book, a YA fantasy book, but I think any age could enjoy this book. It is so funny, um, it is so creative, and it has good lessons about friendship in it. So, um, it's about Wick and Archer, and Wick is a messenger for the land of Arrow, A-R-O, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. His job is calm and safe and helpful, and he just enjoys doing his simple messenger job. Archer... Um, is a thief, but a thief on a mission. And when the two collide, Wick must decide if Archer is a thief and a liar or undergoing a task of vital importance to the land of Arrow. So the positives of this book. Um, the book, it just really made me happy. I read this book while I was in my first trimester and I couldn't do anything but read. And it, like, it, I just read it all day because it made me feel happy and made me feel good even though I was not feeling good at all. All. So it just makes me really happy. Um, it was fun. It was engaging. You, from the very beginning, you start to wonder what's going on. So you just want to keep reading it. I think I read it in two days because I just enjoyed reading it so much. And it was just really funny um, and clean funny. A lot of the times humor is not clean, but it's just the circumstances that they get into are just so funny that it's just like, what are these guys going to run into next? Like what in the world? It's just funny. It's great. Um, I loved my next positive. I love finding out what next crazy thing they were going to get into. Um, the way that Bethany utilized the unfillable bag and the door in the wall were really funny and creative and also exciting. They made the book more exciting. Um, the difficult challenges the main characters faced were each important. They went through the land and faced different challenges with the different races in the land of Arrow and it made it really exciting and um, you got to see just all these different kinds of people and how they were trying to stand in the way of this mission that you're not sure if it's important or it's like a hoax um, but I really like seeing all their difficulties because um, when you see difficulties, characters go through difficulties, it just helps you kind of learn about the flaws in them, and the flaws in yourself, and you learn to grow, and they grow, and it's just fun, and it's also a good lesson. Um, <clears throat> also, I like the characters. As I said, Wick and Archer, they're two very different characters, and they play off each other so well. Archer is, like, witty and sarcastic, and he, like, just doesn't care. Um, or it seems like he just doesn't care, but he's also deeper and you get that sense of that. But I think we'll find out more in the next book. Um, I hope we do. And he has a broken wing, just like my broken wing. Um, and I really like characters like Archer. And then Wick, he's just a really good count counterbalance to Archer. He's very serious. He wants to do what's right. Um, he has a good moral compass. And Archer kind of makes him wonder about everything. And so they balance each other really well. Um... Wick has a good heart and flaws that we can all learn from. I related more to Wick, but I liked Archer more, so I had like a friend and a relatable person in the book. And the way the characters learned about themselves and grew was also an encouraging aspect of the book. So overall, I didn't really have any negatives of the book. It was just perfect for what it was, a YA fantasy funny book, and it just it hit all the marks for that. Um, so that is... My review of Robbing Centaurs and Other Bad Ideas. I think you should go buy it. I think you should go read it. And um, also, I want to say one more thing um, about the book before I tell you where to find it. Um, so, I didn't mention the plot, but hold on. I'll find it in a second. Okay. Um, it's here. It's here. It, uh, the plot revolves around these heather stones. And they have to find the heather. That's not a heather stone. 
Um, and they have to find this Heather. I don't even know what that is. Probably a message. Um, that's something else. It's in here, I promise. The Heather Stone is in here. Um, that's my hippo. Okay, I don't need that. Um, uh, I'll eat that later. Okay, so the Heather Stones are of vital importance because they, um, that's, that's definitely not a Heather Stone. What are, why are you in there? Okay, so they are either going to be the save, ah, oh, here's my Heather Stone. So they're either going to save the Land of Arrow or it's going to be completely destroyed. And so, um, Wick doesn't know if Archer has the Heather Stones and the secret to how to save Arrow or if he's just a big liar. And so he has to find out that through the book. So it's, there's also kind of this mystery surrounding everything too. So that's my Heather Stone. I can't believe I can find it in my bag. Um, so how to find robbing centaurs and other bad ideas. You can find robbing centaurs and other bad, bad ideas on Amazon. Um, and you can also find out more about the book and the author. Hold on, it's in the back. She's got her information in the back. On Instagram at Scribbled Fiction. Um, on Twitter at Scribbled without an E, Fiction. She is also a blogger, scribbledfiction.blogspot.com. And she's also on YouTube, and her YouTube channel is Scribbled Fiction. And I really love her YouTube videos. They don't go with her books all the time, but they're just really funny. And she's really funny, so if you enjoy the funny in her book, you'll enjoy the funny in her videos. And she has some, I won't show you so you'll buy the book. She has some special features in the back of her book. Character art, um, a soundtrack, and just fun things in the back of her book to go with it. So buy this book, read this book. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's great fun. So that is all for today. Um, thank you for watching the book review. If you liked it, please do um, put the little thumbs up button and comment and um, subscribe to this channel. I do book reviews all the time. And thank you very much for watching. Bye! If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com. Really, like, you can't even see it kind of lame. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I don't need the guinea pig yet. Ow! Ow! My gimpy wing is stuck on my bag. No, your bag is stuck on your gimpy wing. Something like that. I can't. I need, I need freed. That's a different.